Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with Get On Stream. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can go out there and stream on an ultra wide monitor. Now, sitting in front of me right now, I have a 21 by 9 LG ultra wide monitor and I absolutely love this monitor especially for working during the day I pretty much need an ultra wide to work productively however when it comes to gaming and streaming at night time it's pretty hard to stream from a 21 by 9 to Twitch or to YouTube whenever you go out there and try to do it you probably run into a lot of roadblocks like I have well in this video I'm going to go through three different solutions that you can use there is no perfect way to do this but whether you're streaming on YouTube or Twitch, I'm going to be showing you how to go out there and do this and you can choose the best option for you. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. If you do enjoy it, please do go ahead and give a big thumbs up on the video. Hit subscribe if you're new here. We're almost at 1000 subscribers and we'd love to hit that by the end of summer. So go ahead, and hit that sub button and let's jump in and show you three different methods to stream with an ultra wide monitor. So let's jump into method number one, which is streaming natively in a 21 by nine aspect ratio. This means that you're going to be able to play your games on your ultra wide monitor with using that full ultra wide real estate and also your viewers are going to be watching that full 21 by 9 image the only problem with this method is it does not work on twitch if you try to do this on twitch it will upload and like squish your video into a 16 by 9 box and it looks really bad so you can't do this on twitch but it does work really well on youtube so you can see here inside my Streamlabs. I just have my game inside my scene and you can see it's in that 21 by 9 aspect ratio down here we've got my camera so you can set it up to look nice within that aspect ratio and just put your camera you know where it's not covering any important parts of the game so to do this you want to come into your settings go to video and set up your base canvas resolution as 3440 by 1440p if that's the resolution of your monitor yours might be even bigger if you're running like a 49 inch lg monitor or a, uh, one of them new samson ones down here we've then got output resolution so we're going to scale this down a little bit to 1720 by 720p and that just means that more people are going to be able to watch this without having issues with lag or buffering and that's going to give you this scene right here which is now in that 21 by 9 aspect ratio and again if you're streaming to youtube this will look completely fine your viewers will be able to watch it in this ratio the only problem really is when it comes to phones uh it's gonna have black bars top and bottom but there's nothing you can really do about that but this is kind of the best way to do it if you're a youtube streamer and you want to stream and play on your ultra wide but let's jump into method number two if you're streaming on twitch but let's go ahead and jump into method two if you're streaming on twitch it's going to be a little bit different you're not going to be able to do this unfortunately so let's jump into method number two where you're going to be playing your games in ultra wide and your twitch stream is also going to be able to watch you in ultra wide but there's going to be some other either black bars or overlay on the screen so you're actually going to have a 16 by 9 stream inside Streamlabs like this so this is probably going to be your basic Streamlabs setup if you want to see a tutorial on how to best set that up i'll leave it in the description but right here you can see how i've set this up i've put like a nice colored background in here obviously if you did stream like this i'd highly recommend going ahead and getting a custom graphic made for your screen where you can like put your gameplay inside it have your camera inside it and then probably put your socials down here at the bottom now this is the best way to do this if you want to stream like this on twitch however it is in some games everything's a little bit small like it the screen's not that big and you can see here like the writing and stuff can be hard for people on your stream to read so that's the only kind of issue but in certain games it can work okay and to do this again you're just going ahead you're pulling in a game capture scene right here you're playing it on your ultra wide you're pulling in this specific window it's going to appear in your scene that's 21 by 9 and you just resize it to put it in here wherever you want you just put it in have that nice background have your camera down here like normal and you're going to be able to enjoy playing your games in that 21 by 9 aspect ratio and get the full use out of your ultra wide monitor and your viewers are going to be able to watch you play on ultra wide but there is some downsides to this method of course because things are a little bit small however it's the best of a bad punch here when you're streaming on twitch where they don't allow you to natively stream so that's it for method number two let's jump into method number three so method number three is honestly probably your best option but 
but it's maybe a little disheartening after you've purchased an amazing ultra wide monitor and you want to be able to play in that well well the only thing that you can really do here is go ahead and change your game settings to 16 by 9 or you know 1920 by 1080 and you know add that game into your stream you're obviously playing in your ultra wide monitor but there's going to be black bars on the edges and you're really not getting the full use out of it but it still works so for example i've got split gate open here you can come up to the settings in split gate we're going to change this over to 1920 by 1080 and apply them settings it's not going to appear on my screen in 1920 by 1080 in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio but i do have these big black bars at the side but now inside uh, our Twitch stream over here on Streamlabs. Let's head over there. Grab our game capture in here. Obviously, we can now see it is 16 by 9. We can just drag this in to fit the full scene. And now we can have our camera down here in the corner. It's 16 by 9. People on Twitch are going to be able to see it in its full resolution. There's not going to be anything else on your screen. Unfortunately, while you're playing, you are going to have them black bars on the side of your screen, which is a little bit disappointing, but it is probably the best way to do it if you want your viewers to have the best viewing experience on your stream. So hopefully this video helped you guys out and taught you how to do this in a quick format because there's tons of like 25 minute videos out there teaching you how to do this. You really don't need that. You can just follow this one. Hopefully it was quick. Hopefully one of them methods worked for you. Let me know down in the description if this video helped you out. Make sure to subscribe if it did. Again, we're trying to hit that 1000 subscriber mark. Turn that like button blue and I'll see you guys in the next video.